Welcome back to Panic Butter. Today we're diving into the realm of the supernatural, exploring some of the top scariest reported home encounters with paranormal entities. These chilling stories will leave you questioning what's lurking in the shadows of your own home. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss our spine-tingling updates. Here we go. Welcome back to Panic Butter. This is Tony. I am glad you could join me. Let's get right into it. Our first story comes from a family in Texas who reported hearing the cries of a baby late at night. Despite searching the entire house, they found no source for the noise. One night, they captured an EVP of a baby crying, which sent chills down their spines. In the dead of night, when the world is still, the unsettling sound of a baby's cry fills the air. But in this house, the crib is empty, the nursery abandoned. The parents, desperate to find the source, search every corner, but the cries persist, coming from nowhere and everywhere at once. As they record the sounds, their hearts race, for they know they are not alone. The chilling cries, echoing in the silence, are a reminder that some spirits never find peace. <laughs> oh my god! Oh! And something just fucking moved from there. Something was just in that corner. No. They're still there. No. Babe, you and my mom stay upstairs. Why? What's happening? I do. What the hell is that? Ow, what the fuck? Babe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to figure it out. Who is the baby crying down here? Where is the baby? Where here? Only baby something? What? Birth? What the fuck? Can you tell me about the baby here? Help her. Was that Mary that made the crying? Okay, no, no, something just touched the back of my neck. No, no, we are getting out of here. I would say that got his attention. What do you think? Not exactly what he was expecting. Let's see what's next. Here we go. In Ohio, a man constantly saw a shadowy figure standing in his home. It never moved or spoke, but its presence was enough to make him dread going near. One night, he entered to find it sitting very close by, causing him to scream in terror. People, that, that's not, that's not me doing the EVP sound. Oh my fucking God! Taste my mouth, I'm sorry. Hi, I know, I, I know I saw something there. I'm gonna have to do the tape, the recording. I know I saw something right there. People. He sits in his room, heart pounding in the stillness of the night. His eyes are drawn to a dark, menacing figure in the room. A shadow man, motionless, watching. 
The terror is paralyzing as the shadow lingers, an unwelcome visitor in his most vulnerable moments. Night after night he returns, a silent sentinel that haunts dreams. <laughs> crazy epic scary indeed and as always is it real what do you think okay let's see where we are next here we see a family sitting in the dining room enjoying their evening suddenly a remote control falls and the rocker begins to move on its own check it out the family runs in terror thin what the okay What the fuck? Leave us alone! Leave us alone. We're not scared of you anymore. Leave us alone. Just sit back down. Just sit back down. I'm not waking up the baby for this. This is crazy. Leave us alone. What the? Okay. Wow, that's something if real, huh? That family is experiencing something very strange indeed. This is good. Up next, here we go. At first it was just little things, a book out of place, a picture frame tilted. But soon the disturbances became impossible to ignore. Objects flew across the room, loud bangs echoed through the house, and the air grew thick with tension. The family, trapped in their own home, set up cameras to catch the unseen force in the act. What they captured was undeniable, a chair moving by itself as if pushed by an invisible hand. The poltergeist had made its presence known, and it wasn't leaving anytime soon. Check it out at Official Really Haunted. No mystery. Come forward, show yourself. Stop being a coward. All of this and so much more is on our latest documentary over on YouTube, The Satanic Rise of Really Haunted. From forced exorcisms to attacks from the devil. Go and check it out on YouTube right now. Yeah, if real they have some serious issues at that residence, what do you think? Check him out at Really Haunted. Where are we at next? Passed down through generations, the doll was supposed to be a cherished keepsake. But from the moment it entered her home, strange things began to happen. The doll, once a lifeless toy, seemed to have a life of its own. It moved when no one was watching, its expression shifting from innocent to malevolent. 
In the dark of night, its eyes would follow her. And when she finally caught it on camera, the truth was clear. This doll was no ordinary plaything. It was a vessel for something far more sinister. Heather is streaming a haunted doll when this was captured. I'm not taking her with me when I move, so if any of you are interested in that doll, please let me know because I don't want to keep her, but I'd like her to go to a good home. I mean, if there's somebody out there that's interested, I don't. Did that oh God, that's a thing doll. just move? Oh my God. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Like her to go to a good home. I mean, if there's somebody out there that's interested, I don't. Her freaking she... face just moved towards you. Oh my God, Heather. Like that legitly just moved. Oh my God. Yeah, Clay, did you see that? First. When you said you're not taking her with you, what the my f is that? I don't know. I just I heard, heard the girl's voice. Are you serious? That wasn't one of you. No. My God, oh my she God. really just f***ing move? Perfect. Oh, hell no. Yeah. Wow, would you buy something like that? Let me know down below. Yep, you guessed it. There is more craziness. Here we go. Here's another creepy one. This time, it's an old creepy doll sitting on the floor next to a Cabbage Patch doll in a dimly lit room. In the footage reviewed later on, faces are filled with horror as it's realized the doll is moving on its own. So this guy buys this doll at a local antique shop, but when he brings it home, this is what happens to his daughter's Cabbage Patch doll. This is what happens whenever I put her near my daughter's old Cabbage Patch doll. But that's not the weirdest part. There's no batteries. But wait, there's more. I even cut the wire to see if that would stop it. There are no batteries in her, and he cut the wire. Somebody even tells him to check the feet, and he does, but there's still no batteries in there. Like, if it's doing all that during the day, what does it do in the middle of the night? What do you think? Pretty strange, huh? If real, that is. A homeowner in New York heard footsteps on the stairs. Despite checking multiple times, they found no one. They finally recorded the footsteps, capturing a chilling reminder that they weren't alone. What the f*** was that? That was big. That sounded like something jumped right there, eh? You think that's an animal? Someone has an unexpected guest, huh? What would you do? If real, not a lot there, but enough to let them know something is up. So we move on and check out some more, just like this one. The family hears footsteps through their home hallway at night and inquires if anyone is present. The sound of footsteps echoes around them, but no one is there. Then strange noises are heard throughout their home. And just like every other one, is this real or fake? There we go. And again. Hello. Oops, sorry. Is there anything you need? I'm real loud today. Hello? Do you need help? Hello?
Hello? Was that you that rolled the ball? <laughs> Can you play it again? Can you play it again? Can you play it a low key? Oh, <laughs> See, this is where I draw the line, man, and y'all want me to be brave. Hello? Hello? Interesting, huh? If real, they have a real problem, it does appear. What would you do if you had those kind of encounters in your home? Up next we have contact looking into a dark room. The investigator cautiously waits and a chilling disembodied voice sounds out. Demon! The investigator jumps back in terror. Then there is more and here it is they listen to it in disbelief and fear, trying to figure out who or what is making the sound. What do you think, real or fake? Demon. Not. Brother. Okay. What happened? Karma. No regret. Neil. Sure. Blood. Push. Run. Flashlight. Bright. I see you. You. Yeah, creepy, huh? Just voices could be pretty scary, if real. That is the question. While we decide, let's move on. Here we go. Next up, we see a couple sitting at the top of a staircase, looking down into a dark basement. The husband cautiously calls out, and a chilling voice replies, Help! The couple jumps back in terror, with the couple listening to it in disbelief and fear trying to figure out who or what is making the sound. I really, I feel like I'm very uncomfortable right now. Like, I feel like I'm on a cry. I really do. It's, per, it's, it's almost like there's an energy right as you come down the stairs. Oh! 
Right when I said, come down the stairs, something said, help again. I shit you not. Where's the bell? Well, that's pretty strange. If real, huh? There's a lot of very strange stuff that goes on. Take the next house, for example. In Georgia, a homeowner saw a ghostly figure in their bathroom mirror. They tried to ignore it, but it appeared more frequently, leaving them terrified to even glance at her reflection. They eventually accepted and continued to try to communicate in their home. Is there somebody in the laundry room right now? Are you a relative of mine? Hmm. So you get a home from your family. A home that a family member in your family has already passed away in. Then this happens. Pretty creepy indeed. You know how it goes. Let's see more. Is there anyone else with this problem? Diez para siete, estoy con mi tía en la sala. Se escuchan ruidos del baño. Es el baño de abajo otra vez. No, 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 no. Ven, ven, nena. Nena, ven, nena. Estoy abierto la llave. Nena. Ven, corre. There is just not enough there to be sure, but it is good if real. What do you think? Let me know. Let's move on to the attic. Not what you would expect to find in your attic, huh? Pretty strange indeed. Something is going on, but what? You know the rest, real or fake. And as usual, there's more from the attic. This time, contact. Here it is. A man somewhere in America reported strange noises coming from his attic. When he finally mustered the courage to investigate, he found old, dusty furniture that seemed to have been disturbed recently. He set up a camera and captured a ghostly figure moving around. Then this happened. 
If you scare easily, swipe on. In 1989, a woman started hearing strange banging sounds in her walls and in the ceiling. And then one night, the crawl space to her attic was open, so she went to go have a look. When she's just feet away, an old man suddenly appears in the crawl space and looks her dead in the eye before vanishing. There was nobody else in the house. Worried no one's gonna take her seriously over an apparent ghost in her house, she ends up calling a paranormal investigator. When the paranormal crew arrived, they were actually very skeptical until they heard loud banging in the attic and they decided to go up and have a look. As soon as the two men get up into the attic, one of them screams and suddenly disappears. The other, who didn't have a flashlight, starts using the flash on his camera to illuminate the attic and he takes one of the most famous pictures in paranormal history. His partner, who was in total shock, had been lifted off the ground and tied to one of the beams. That was the last night the woman ever stayed in the house. However, it's still being rented out today, but nobody stays longer than one or two months. Oh yeah, that's move out instantly stuff there. No goofing around, right? Wow, what would you do? That is a lot different than just hearing voices. Very creepy indeed. Now onto the photo. A family in Nevada bought a painting from an estate sale, only to find it cause strange occurrences in their home. The painting's eyes seemed to follow them, and they heard whispers whenever they passed by. Will they eventually destroy the painting or keep it? That is very weird. Everyone keep watching this. This was pointed out on a previous live stream that the eyes I've seen to be moving. Let me know in the comments if you see the eyes moving like a castle. down the face as it had an op optical illusion by the camera. Let me know in the comments what you think. Optical illusion. I'll spare it. You decide. Now that's creepy. It does seem though there are many pictures like that, huh? And paintings too, just like the next one. The king is now on a creepy painting hanging on a wall in a dimly lit room. The painting when rearranged looks a lot different. Check it out. By now, pretty much everyone has seen this portrait of King Charles since it's the first portrait since his coronation. Now, you probably saw him jump back as he pulled the tarp off because let's face it, the painting is odd and strange colors and it's also creepy. But that's not all, it gets worse. People have been testing the painting and have now discovered something very sinister going on. When this painting is flipped around upside down and placed side by side, you can begin to make out the image of a Baphomet. Now, if that's not extra creepy to an already creepy portrait, then I don't know what is. So let me know, do you think it's just a coincidence or is there something demonic going on? Let me know in the comments and follow for more. Well, that is just more added to all of the conspiracies that follow the royal family. In Illinois, a couple reported seeing a ghostly child playing in their home with their child. Despite multiple sightings, they could never approach the child, who would vanish upon getting close. They tried to talk to their child with little success. This, along with the following clip, will round up our creepy and strange encounters. Do you have any of these happening to you? Let me know. Up next, the ghost child. Justice Alexander has a small daughter who has an imaginary friend named Michael. But after capturing the following on video, Michael may not be imaginary at all. What she knows about? Who knows if what children are seeing are figments of their imagination or something else completely? Hopefully it's the former and not the latter. Look you guys, it rocks. 
but then it stops on its own when I come outside. Let's see if I could get it on camera. There's like no wind. That's <gasps> I know blue someone's there, huh? I know I know. I don't know why it does that. It does it every time you guys this is the third time. I can't believe I caught it on camera. Sick on blue. Creepy, right? Katie, I guess I do have a ghost bit. Get him blue. I'm shutting the door. These encounters remind us that sometimes the most frightening things happen right in our own home. Share and subscribe. And let us know in the comments if you've ever experienced anything paranormal. Thanks for watching.